Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Dynamic Coder. Today we start with this new video about inter-VLAN routing. As you can see on my screen that I have already created one topology you can see in my playlist and I have decided to create more topologies for your better understanding. Okay, so let's get started. Here you can see the topology here that I have created two switches. One router which used to perform the inter-VLAN routing like what is intervillain routing i can also want to clear you one another time that if for example you want to get communicate between your vlans so it can only be possible using intervillain routing the fact is if you are using layer 2 switch then you have to perform you have to use a router in it as for example layer 3 switch can perform the functionality of routing as well as switching but the layer 2 switch can't perform the functionality of router also so we are taking as a router so that's what the difference between like layer 2 switch and layer 3 switch ok go to this switch enable configure terminal ok first we are creating the VLAN VLAN 10 name management name security VLAN 30 name student ok we are creating the three topologies here ok ok so I have created three VLANs ok and now we are setting the VLANs to each interfaces So we are we are taking each interfaces and we have applied each VLANs to that interfaces. So that's all the work is done. Now we used to have F04 and F04 between the two switches. We are taking it as trunk link. Okay. Interface FA0 switch 4. We are done with this. Now let's go to another switch. Configure terminal. Okay. Interface. F A zero slash one. Switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 10. This is also one thing that you can able to do this. You it is not like you just have to first create the VLAN, then afterward you should have to assign to the interface. So this is the shortcut of it. That you can directly use one interfaces and switch port access VLAN 10. You can so with the help of this, you can see that access VLAN doesn't exist but creating the VLAN. Okay, likewise, we'll go to interface FT0 slash 2 switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 20. Interface FA0 slash 3 switch port mode access switch 
switch port access VLAN 30. So here we are creating now if you can go to to show VLAN belief. You can see that the interface is assigned to each of the interfaces. Okay, each of the VLANs. 10, 20, 30, this is how it works. One thing we have forgotten that to use interface FA0 slash 4 switch port mode trunk okay so we are done with configuring each of the switches now go to the router router enable configure terminal interface so we'll go to this switch I have changed the actually the lane cable I have used gigabit ethernet in the place of fast ethernet so interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 switch port mode access okay this is the way it's done now go to the router Never. configure terminal interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0 dot 10 encapsulation dot 1 q here we are taking 10 as for VLAN 10 ok IP address 192.168.10.1255.255.255.0 so what it is the default gateway by the way of 20 and get solution dot 1 to 20 okay again Thirty okay, so I have configured this dot one Q, which is of encapsulation. We are using it that on a single link we are creating multiple interfaces so with the help of which each VLAN can communicate with each other. Yeah, you can see on the screen that this link is always in a red that which cannot comes up it is still down. So the fact is that we have to configure the trunk link on both the sides. So interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 switch port mode trunk ok interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0 switch port So as you can see on my screen that all the links come up and now 
we if just we want to send the ping to another vlan started working or not just we are checking with us go to this pc ping 192 look for 68.10.11 192.168.10.11 is not working then just go to the pc go to the switch use the command show vlan updates to show vlan brief okay but you can see that this vlan bar we have assigned the ports to it so here it is working good go to the switch Here you will get the entire information about each VLAN. You can see that a trunk port is enabled. Dot one key is enabled. Negotiation is all working. Everything is working. Okay, again, let's check with this. Again, it is not working. So just go to this desktop and check that you have configured it or not. One ninety two dot one sixty eight dot ten dot eleven. So these are the small small troubleshooting part that you don't you don't need to worry about. You just need to go on each of the interfaces and check that whether what are the mistakes you have done. And after all, you will started working with. everything will going to work it as it in their way okay seem i have not configured the 2.168.20.12 on 92.168.20.1 ट्वेंटी Pinging from in a same switch.
you can see that it is not working okay so it is not working in between the VLAN so just check that whether I have configured the IP addresses here I also dot ten ninety two dot one sixty eight dot twenty dot one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot thirty dot ten ninety two one sixty eight dot thirty dot one okay so we did each configuration now you just need to check it You can see that you can able to ping in between the VLANs. If I go to ping 192.168.30.13. Okay, so the ping is just successful. Then you can able to communicate with each of the PCs can communicate each between the VLANs. So this is how inter VLAN routing works. As simple as that, you can see the entire video and you want to know everything about it. Okay, I also have planned to create one of the playlists by watching one playlist you can able to run the entire concept of it. Okay, so do just subscribe my channel, you will get to learn more about